Converting an image from color to black and white is a really easy way to change the look and feel of it. And it can be a great way to hide artifacts as well. For instance, if someone's skin needs a lot of retouching or there's a lot of noise in an image, simply converting it to black and white can turn those artifacts into grain. They don't really matter as much when the image is black and white. Now, there are tons of different ways to convert to black and white. I want to show you two that are really quick and easy, one in Photoshop and the other in Camera Raw. Let's take a look. So here we are in Photoshop with a nice color image, but let me quickly show you how to convert this to black and white. I'm going to come over here to my adjustment panel and click on black and white, and immediately you can see that there's a little zigzag between the color channels. And what those have done is they've introduced contrast between the different color channels so that each color pops. And I could come in and move these individually, but what I prefer to that is using this really cool on image tool. So if I click that, all I need to do is put my cursor over the area of the image that I want to make darker or lighter. And I don't need to remember that this was cyan. If I put it on the tree over here and I click to the left, I don't need to remember that that was the yellow area of the image. It's just mapping to the corresponding slider. This is a really nice way to fine tune my image. And once I get the result that I want, I'm all set. Now within here, if I want to quickly tint this, I just click the checkbox and choose the color that I want to override the image with. So if we want a warmer tone, we'll just pick that and click OK. And we've got a nice tinted image. If we want that less saturated, we just click a little to the left there. OK, so that's a really quick and easy way to do that in Photoshop. It's an adjustment layer, so it can be turned off and on. I can play around with the opacity and the blending mode. I have a lot of control over it. Okay, so that's Photoshop. Let's go over to Bridge and talk about how to get a really great black and white effect in Camera Raw. Now, I have a RAW file in the middle here, but I've also added a JPEG file of the same image because I want to show you how to open a non-RAW file into Camera Raw. It's a really powerful and easy place to move into Photoshop. So one way I love in Bridge is to just select the JPEG and hit Command-R, and that'll pop me into Camera Raw. And the things that make a good color image also make a good black and white image. And in order to get a good black and white image, I need to have a good balanced exposure. So I'm going to back down the exposure a little bit. I'm going to pull my highlights in a little. I'm going to increase my clarity just a little bit. And the image looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move over here to grayscale or black and white. When I click on that, I'll see the same separation between the channels. And if I want to interact with the image like I did before, I'm just going to choose the targeted adjustment tool. It's the same idea. If I click on the foreground and I move to the left, I'll notice that I'm making this brighter or darker. Now one thing that works a little bit differently, I think better in Camera Raw, is you'll notice that I'm moving multiple sliders at the same time. So by using this targeted adjustment tool, I'm actually doing something I couldn't do uh, back in Photoshop. I'm moving two sliders at two different rates. I get this looking the way I want, and then I move over to split toning. And the way that it works in split toning, I could guess at my hue and then build my saturation up, but here's a really great trick. Hold down the Option or Alt key while pulling the hue slider, and you'll get a temporary 100% preview of that color. So I can say, okay, that's the color I want. Then I release and slowly build up the saturation. When I'm done, I just click on Done, and the change will be reflected back in Camera Raw. Had I said Open, it would have opened into Photoshop. So two different ways to make great black and white images, tinted in both cases, really easy, really fast. Hope that helps you out.